Ostrehu by Imploding Colon, read by Deathlight, Chapter 72, Old. Everywhere Rainbow Dash flew, the metal chamber opened up even more. She had to pace herself, or she'd be drawn into flying too far away from the group of escapees. Every quarter she peered down, the interior held more and more windy passageways, full of silver-plated pillars, shiny platforms, and mysterious pieces of machinery. This place was massive, that couldn't be emphasized enough. Rainbow felt as if she would have far less location to visit when she was floating in the very heart of Cloudsdale. Not only was the labyrinth in place immense, but it was clean, pristine, immaculate. Hardly indicative of the location that was so old and abandoned. At least, she assumed the location was abandoned. Ash wasn't the only one that felt as though the location showed hints of intelligent design. At every turn, the interior resembled a huge royal palace. And yet, at every other turn, gigantic gears, levers, and conveyor systems rested in perpetual silence. She couldn't pretend to guess what the machinery's purpose was. As curious as she was, she wasn't about to find out. She kept remembering that she wasn't the only pony there, the only soul turned breathless by the size of the awesome place. There was no telling what would happen if she moved a single switch or lever. The 29 escapees needed her. What was more, they needed to pass through this area safely. But where were they all headed? Rainbow Dash paused briefly in her flight, hovering above multiple platforms and walkways. She hadn't realized until a good hour into the trek, but she was being drawn towards a distant part of the place. It was different when she flew ever eastward in her normal, everyday journey. This was something beyond instinctual, something that was pulling at every fiber in her body. She gazed down at her pendant, seeing a dim glow at the heart of the ruby lightning bolt. Then, looking down at the platform, she saw the seams and grooves of the wall shimmering noticeably around her. The place was incredibly dark on the inside, at least until her presence graced it. Afterwards, the group got plenty of illumination. She never thought to question the reason why, but she never felt the reason to. Rainbow had been filled with a great sense of ease upon reaching that place. She hadn't feared in the least for the well-being of her fellow ponies. Until an instant that made her feel differently, she wasn't about to panic. She flew ahead of the group, dashing left and right, checking each quarter before ultimately choosing a passage that was safe, that she somehow knew wasn't dangerous. This progress of travel continued for a very long time. Hours crept by. The group paused on more than one occasion to collect their breaths as well as their senses. Just how old is this place? A mayor remarked. By the sun goddess, I can't imagine, said a stallion. Some I wouldn't doubt if it was as old as creation, but that's impossible, another stallion exclaimed. The creation of the world was a divine event. The gods and goddesses of old wouldn't have let this place to be forgotten. Obviously, this place was built by some later civilization. That could be possible. A unicorn spoke up. The world is likely a lot older than most Wendergate historians imagine. The only living souls capable of imagining the lengths of time are the Alicorn goddesses of Equestria. A few ponies looked up at the blue-winged chaperone from afar. They then exchanged glances. Why did this place light up for her? Is it because of that thing that she wears? You don't suppose she's always been meant to come to this place from the beginning? What would she bring us with her? You... you don't think she means to sacrifice us, do you? Don't be absurd, if you mess so little to her. She would have done away with us earlier. Besides, her only sin is thinking with her guts more than her brain from time to time. I just don't like this situation. Amer said. We're in a deep, frightening place that's far too grand and old for any of us to comprehend. And yet, she's the only one with a chip on her shoulder. You mean she's the only one so courageous? Return up senior remarked, shuffling over to sit with the group. If you ask me, none of us should begin freaking out to Miss Dash does. Why are you defending her so much, Red? This entire time you've been practically worshipping her. He smiled back at the group. She brought my son to me. She freed us from our imprisonment. She filled my entire life with hope and joy. Until I see something to break that pattern, I'm staying by her side to the bitter end. 
Besides, I shall also join the group. Love taking the last bit of the Minotaur ration so they could have a bite to eat. But she is this light. I have a feeling that whatever this place is, it was meant for her to find it. There is no safer place in Vindicate to be than by your side. I hope you are right. It's time you're marked. I hope this isn't just blind faith. Ashul nodded, taking a bite out of the preserved meat, then swallowed. I've never been more blind than I am now. Don't you find that alarming? He swallowed another morsel. On the contrary, he smiled and glanced up at Rama's hovering figure. I find it rather liberating, like I sprouted wings of my own.